Let's find the steric number for the central atom here, the sulfur here in H2SO4. H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid. And to start out with, we need a valid Lewis structure for sulfuric acid. So if you need help with this, there's a link at the end of the video to draw this Lewis structure. To find the steric number for the central atom here in H2SO4, that sulfur here, what we do is we first count up the atoms bonded to the sulfur. So we have one, two, three, four. So the oxygen and the hydrogen, we're counting that as just one thing there. Four atoms bonded. And then we want to look at the lone pairs of valence electrons on the sulfur. The thing is, there are no lone pairs. All of these electrons here, they're between atoms. So they are bonded. Those are chemical bonds. So there are no lone pairs on the central sulfur. So we just count up these atoms here. One, two, three, four. Steric number for the central atom. The sulfur on H2SO4 is four. And we can use that to determine the molecular geometry for H2SO4, like this. So we said we have a steric number here of four, and we don't have any lone pairs on the central sulfur. Zero lone pairs, we go down. And we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry for H2SO4 based on this central sulfur atom here. This is Dr. B looking at the steric number and the molecular geometry for H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.